it's day two. It is also the last sea day. Mm. So we've already been given our disembarkation stuff with our tags. And it is only 9.30 in the morning. So we come back from breakfast the day after we got on to disembarkation stuff. That is so super sad. Anyway, we've got our good times, which has everything in there as to what's going on about the time change. So it's gone by a half hour today. Um, and then all the stuff that's on for today. So tonight is Gatsby night. Look forward to that. We also got given this. So this is future cruise, uh, future cruises and all the deals that come along with that. And there's some really good deals on there. So we are going to go and have a chat to someone because there's a cruise that we've been eyeing off anyway. Uh, let me get the light a bit better for you. So we're going to go and have a chat to someone about these options here. I'm eyeing off these things. Let's see how long. I actually like them. Yeah. They're very different. Yes, I can see me in my reflection. to the waterfront restaurant yep we're gonna have some lunch and then mummy gets to dance dancing hopefully my knees can hold up <laughs> how's this elvis it's looking very serious yeah. charlie's bar uh, yes. <laughs> Yawn is a silent scream for a cup of coffee. I agree. Hi. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Oh, they look good. I like to order coffee while she's on that. Still want to get this. The two together share cocktail. These are the coffee cups they give you, so they're hard plastic cups. Can you take the lid off for me? Oh, and as you can see, they're paper lids, but they're hard plastic coffee cups, so environmentally friendly.
the gut to record. I got the fried rice and what was it? It was barbecue chicken wings or something. Drumsticks. Drumsticks. And Eggplant. apple, they call it an apple gobbler, but I believe it's apple cobbler. It's dairy free, gluten free, sugar free, everything free. Hopefully mean that's that means it's calorie free too. But I'm loving that I've got a option in the Lido deck buffet because I never have an option in the buffet do I? circus so this is where they they're running all the comedy shows in here at the moment they do some trivias what else do they do in here babe um, they do their like um, they smoke shorts and stuff here a lot of different shows and bar seats and then there's the seats for the tables just a heads up one thing we learned last night if there's someone sitting in these seats in front of you you won't see anything <laughs> I'm going to get up this hill right now. <laughs> Hello. 
lots of dairy free options here. There's a salad with the fish and chips too. So I've got the poke bowl. Thank you. Thank you. Calamari to share. And you got the fish and chips. Yep. Well, you can steal these chips too, babe. Good afternoon and welcome to the bar master class. All right, my name is Alvin. I work as a cocktail bartender, and here is Jason. He also works with me in Bonded Store. Bonded Store is located just opposite to this bar, just in the far corner. It also has a big picture frame which you can slide in and you can come in as well. That's kind of a secret door as well. <laughs> Today we have lined up beautiful cocktails for you. Four of them. The first one is a gin-based cocktail called Gin Gimlet. It's an uh, very old cocktail as well, made with signature dry gin from Achi Rose as well. Achi Rose is the distillery which we are collaborated with as well and our menu is created by these guys as well. Today's second cocktail is called Pimska, made with Pimps number no. 1, produced in London, a popular summer beverage from the United Kingdom. Alright, a classic. And today's third drink is named after a popular cake in Australia called Hummingbird. Alright, the drink is also called Hummingbird made with some spice rum as well as Malibu. All right, and this is the best seller in the bonded store. That's right. <laughs> All right, so. That's it, yeah. And to finish the master class, we're gonna make a drink out of shampoo. All right, mm -hmm. it is called berry cheesecake. You may also call it a cheesecake in a glass. A beautiful drink to finish the master class. All right. Dairy free, woo -hoo. I'm impressed that you it. thought of that. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing, what chocolate. Yeah, it also comes in a darker form as well, known as mm. uh, creme de cacao brown or dark with yeah. It's used for some cocktails like Brandy Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't have chocolate. I can't have the dairy. The chocolate will make things better though, I can tell you that much. But that's really good. This is like dessert. Just gotta be prepared. There's vegan chocolate. <laughs> You don't like sweets, how's this? That's yum. Okay. Throws me the berry. Yeah. That's not what you think when it's gonna taste like. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I'm getting ready for Gatsby night. So fun story from last night. So I remember yesterday I packed my hairbrush. I remember grabbing it, grabbed a few other things. I unpacked, I'm like, where's my hairbrush? Could not find my hairbrush anyway. So I must've left it at home somewhere. So um, I was like, oh, surely they'll sell hairbrushes in the essentials section of the gift shop. I went in there because like we don't have any go across to the other shops and I'm like I looked over at the expensive shops and I was like yeah cool okay <laughs> so I went over there and the guy there was really sweet and I said do you have any hairbrushes I forgot my hairbrush he looked at me and he goes the only brand I have is GHD and I'm like so you mean expensive <laughs> and he started laughing and he goes yes 
So I ended up buying me a nice fancy GHD hairbrush. Check out the price. So it turned out it scanned like at 45. So it was like $2 cheaper than that. So I bought a $45 hairbrush. I never spend that sort of money on things like this. So anyway, here I am getting ready for Gatsby night. Feeling like Rose in on Titanic where she's like doing her hair, feeling all bougie. So anyway, um, fun story. I'm gonna finish getting myself all pretty. Get my Gatsby dress on. This clearly isn't my Gatsby dress. It's still a cute dress. So, um, probably won't wear this tonight at all, but I just put it on while I was getting ready. So, anyway, I'm gonna get, oh, the light is shocking here. It shows all my wrinkles. So the lighting's shocking right here. I'm trying to do my makeup. But anyway, hopefully, oh, I look so white too. It really washes me out. So anyway, hopefully I'll, look, I really don't look like that. I don't understand. All right. Now I still look white over there, but then when I look in here, I don't look white. So apparently it's a camera. I'm just gonna bring myself over here. Well, that's better over here. So anyway, my hair is gonna dry a mess if I don't get moving. So I'm gonna go and finish get myself pretty. I get spin. So today's been pretty um pretty chill. Just the husband and I taking things as we please, doing what we want. So we had breakfast, um, went and did a little bit of shopping or a bit of a browse through the shops. Um, and then we saw some really good deals, which oh, I think I posted while well, posting this video about future cruises. Totally butchered that one. Um, so with a part of that, we got some onboard credit for this cruise and onboard credit for the future cruise, which we booked for December. So, um, yeah, so that was, I think, well worth it because we we're already looking at that cruise anyway. We we're just waiting to see kind of how this cruise went. And if this cruise was successful, we were going to book another one. And so far, this cruise has been really, really good. So, um, other than that, I lost my bracelet last night. I don't know. It fell off at some stage. It hasn't been handed in, so it looks like um, that's gone. Uh, what else did we do? We went to the gym. We had a workout. Had something small to eat before I did the dance class. So it was a almost Zumba-type dance class. Um, that was a lot of fun. And then... We went and had a proper lunch at the waterfront. Um, I just got the poke bowl um, and some, we got some calamari, which is one of the mains, but we got it to share. So that was like our entree. Um, and then Peter got the fish and chips. Um, and the food was really good. One thing I can say about this cruise is they understand my allergy of dairy free. Like I know for most people who can eat dairy, like it's, doesn't matter and that's great but for me it's a game changer absolute oh, that could have been bad absolute game changer the fact that I can go into a restaurant tell them I can't have dairy and they understand that I can't have dairy and that it's a dairy allergy and not a gluten intolerance is so great so um yeah they they've honestly made it really really easy um, and then we just kind of wandered around, did a few things. Yeah, we didn't really do much between then and our cocktail making. So that was so much fun. Um, they did the pouring, unfortunately, because apparently in the past they've done, they let the people do the pouring and the bottles came back empty, which I can understand. But honestly, um, we did four cocktails and it was only $35. So $35 for four cocktails is pretty good. So 
I would highly recommend that. Now, the thing is with that, the bookings are only done on embarkation day. So if you go to, where was it? It was outside the red room. Sorry, the blue room, wrong color, I'm wearing red. Um, it's outside the blue room on embarkation day and we just happened to stumble across it and put our names. I think we're like fifth and sixth on the list. Um, so there wasn't many names on it when we stumbled across it. So thankfully we got a booking because there was people rocking up today wanting to do it and because they hadn't booked and they came looking for the booking sheet today and obviously there was no booking sheet because it was only done on embarkation day. So one thing I thought was a little bit odd is they still have it up on the itinerary for the day. So everybody can see it, but I kind of think it's pointless putting it on the itinerary because by the time it comes to that day, the bookings are already done. There was only like 15 or 16 of us in the group. So a lot of people can't get it. So I kind of almost think it's a little bit not worth putting on the itinerary because people are going to do that. They're going to rock up wanting to do it and then they'll get disappointed when they can't. But anyway, so we made four cocktails, which I'll list all the names of them. Um, and they were really, really good, but we got to the last cocktail and it was a raspberry cheesecake cocktail. And when he said cream, my heart sank. I was like, well, I can't have that one. <laughs> um, and then they garnish it with chocolate. And I was like, yep, cool, I'm out. Um, but then when he was running through the ingredients, he said, so we use this plant-based um, cream. And I was like, plant-based? No way, I'm like, I can actually have that. So sure enough, we all made our cocktails with plant-based cream. And it was absolutely delicious, honestly. That tasted like a dessert, that cocktail. I will definitely be having that cocktail again. Um, and then I got chat chatting with the bartender afterwards. Sorry, I can only plug this in over there, so it keeps wanting to go in that direction. Um, so I had a chat with the bartender afterwards and I just said, look, that is awesome for people like me because um, I can't have dairy. And he said about three months ago, they had a guy who makes all their drinks and stuff. He's an Englishman, he came in, he did all their courses and everything and he changed all of their beverages. So now when you go to order a, a coffee, it used to just be, uh, I think it was soy and oh, I don't know, there was some other option, lactose, I don't know, there was some sort of other option. Um, there was only two though. Whereas now when you go to the bar, there is soy, there's oat, there's almond milk, there's lots of other options. And then they've changed all of their cocktails. This is not working for me, I'll come back to that one. Um, they changed all of their cocktails to use the plant-based cream. So everybody gets a cocktail made with a plant-based cream now. So the Toblerone drink that I was eyeing off yesterday that I knew that I just couldn't have, so I just disregarded, apparently I can actually have it. So the only thing is I can't garnish it with chocolate, which I can totally live without that. But I can have all these beautiful chocolatey, creamy, um, cocktails now and that is an absolute game changer so I just want to say props to PNO for understanding and accepting allergies because let's face it this day and age I'm not the only one there is a lot of people with allergies one of the ladies we were sitting at breakfast with is FODMAP gluten-free like everything so she has a lot of difficulties with it too um, but it's just it's honestly really, really relieving to just just have people who understand the allergy, really. Like, I don't think a dairy allergy is really that hard to understand. Like, you can't have milk, can't have cheese. You know, it's pretty basic. But apparently all the other cruise lines, they just haven't got the memo. They just, they just don't understand what it means. So anyway, I don't want to ramble on about it, but... I just want to say shout out to P&O for really getting on board, understanding allergies and adapting 
And um, if you're like me and you can't have dairy, highly recommend Pinot. It's well worth it. So anyway, I'm gonna finish getting beautiful and you'll see me when I'm done. So hair and makeup's pretty much done. Um, Peter's out playing lawn bowls. He said he's made it through two, through, well, he won the first round. So um, I'm not obviously in my Gatsby gear yet, just wearing this red dress with a red lippy. So lady in red right now. I'm gonna go check on the husband and then we'll get ready for Gatsby together. some photos wander around a little bit before dinner dinner starts at 7 30. you guys looking all handsome nearly very handsome babe <laughs> thanks hey babe should we go to seven go listen to the piano man Babe, you have yours first. Alright, so this is a sugar cane white pink glass. It's I love that. I love that. Wow. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's got a punch in it. Okay. Yes, it's got like a second hit. It's good though. There's a lot of alcohol in that one. Try yours, babe. So pretty sure this is called a burnt lemon vanilla margarita. It's got cinnamon all around there. Oh. 
If you like margaritas, you'll love this. <laughs> it's really good. It's got the um, tang of a margarita, but that little bit of kind of it's a sweetness, but it's yeah, it's not like a sugary, sickly sweet. But really like it. Bonded straw. That's where the drinks are at. <laughs> Fancy version of it. Yeah. Lots of dairy free. Yay! It's the last night, but we are getting this cocktail. Yeah, I get that. You're gonna share these. It's romantic, babe. Together, babe. Fruit. It's yeah, it's sweet. It doesn't taste like a double shot drink, does it? Well, I don't know. It's just one, babe. This is the lemongrass chicken soup. Yeah. Dim sims. They do look good. Spring rolls. Chicken spring rolls? Vegetable. Vegetable spring rolls. Spring rolls. Order them. Vegetable sweet and sour spring rolls. They are sweet and sour. And delicious, is that? <laughs> it's packed full of flavour, isn't it? That's really yum. I have the Kung Pao chicken. You have beef <coughs> pepper stir fry. Beef pepper stir fry. Yum. Oh, more spring rolls, yay! Thank you. Egg rice. And your peppers is coming short. Okay, thank you. How is it? Dishes so far being really good. I'll try a bit. My egg noodles and capsicum, or what do they call it? They call it peppers or sauteed peppers or something. Yeah. Where are we up to, babe? Uh, the Gatsby party. They've got a like a it's not a pre party, it's what what is it? What do they call it? It's like a warm up. Yeah. So we we're gonna go get warmed up for the Gatsby party. Okay, we taking the lift, I ain't taking those stairs. <laughs> so we are chock full of food. Dragon Lady was amazing. And I ate way too much. Luckily I got a loose feeding dress. And we're gonna go dance it off, dance off the calories at the Gatsby party. Just 
crickets on their ship. There's a ballerina Seven. in this elevator. Seven? Um, sure. 